All right, go ahead, jog it out on the spot. And now high knees, get those knees up, land on the balls of your feet to make sure arms are going, legs are going, keep everything moving. Now butt kicks, heels up to your butt. Loosen up those quads, stretch them all out. And now sprint as fast as you can. 10 seconds sprint as fast as you can go. Arms and legs. Five seconds left, even faster. And now high knees again, this time higher, this time faster than last time. Butt kicks again, this time heels all the way up. Get them all the way up. And sprint, five seconds this time, faster than last time. Now jumping jacks. And now down for push-ups. And now back up onto your feet and squat it out. Push your hips back, push your butt back, dig into your heels. Deep squats, as deep as you can go for now. Forward lunge, step forward, power off, alternate sides. And now side to side hops on the balls of your feet. Eight reps on each leg. So 
Remember, as a step back, the further you step back, the more it's going to target your glutes. So if you keep a more narrow stance, it'll target your quads more. If you step back way back, it'll target your glutes more. Good, good. Step it back, one, two, three, pulse, step forward. Step it back, one, two, three, pulse, step it forward. Eight on each leg, and then right back into the squats. Everyone's looking good. Some of you back into that squat. The squat's already good, good. good. 12 more of those front squats, those dumbbells resting on your shoulders. Twelve squats and then more lunges. Eight on each side. After your 12 squats, your second set. Good job. This will be the only round with legs. So every round be a different body part, different focus. We get the legs out of the way right away while you still have some energy. We're halfway through this round. Two minutes down. You have two minutes to go. Two minutes. See if you can get through each of these exercises three times and maybe four times through with the squats. Uh, eight of those lunges each side. Remember to give it three pulses before you step back forward. Looking good. Remember, the further you step back, the more it's going to target your glutes. If you want to target the quads, don't step back as far. Keep it fairly narrow. One more minute to go. One more minute, and I'll give you a one minute break. Looks like we're approaching that third set. A lot of people finishing the second set and starting up the third set now. Third set of squats. Should be starting sweat a little bit now. Starting to get a little bit warm. 30 seconds to go. 30 seconds and we're done with this first round. Keep going, keep going. Try to keep the reps even now on both sides. So if you need to cut down the reps for your lunges and just switch to the other side so you can keep it even, do that now. Keep those reps even on both sides or alternate sides now. Two, one, all right, take your break. One minute, water break. The next round, we're gonna target the shoulders, delts. We're gonna do, we're gonna start with the Arnold press. So Arnold press, start with the dumbbells in front of your face like this. And then you're gonna, as you go up, you're gonna turn them out. Okay, so as you go up, turn them out, turn them back in, turn them out. Turn them back in. Elbows are up here, away from your body. So they're not on your body, they're not resting on your body. Up here, keep the tension on your shoulders the entire time. So Arnold press, turn them out, turn them in. 12, 12 breaths of those. And then we're gonna go lateral raises. Okay, out to the side, just like that. Parallel to the ground is good. You're gonna do 12 of those, 12 lateral raises. And then alternating arm front raises. So one at a time, front raise. And that one, you're gonna do 10 on each arm. So the Arnold press for 12, lateral raise for 12, alternating arm front raise for 10 on each arm. All right, here we go. Starting with the Arnold press. Ready in three, two, one, go for it. So have them in front of your face, turn them out. And then turn them in as they come back down. Turn them out on the way up. Turn them out. Turn them in on the way down. 
elbows off your body the entire time. Don't let those elbows rest on your body. Keep that tension on the shoulders. 12 reps, 12 of them. After your Arnold press, lateral raises out to the side. 12 times. Try to go nice and slow on the way down these lateral raises. 12 reps. Shoulders should be blowing up already now. So 12 lateral raises. Once you're done your 12 lateral raises, front raise one at a time, 10 on each side. Just like that. When you do your front raises, keep your glutes tight, glutes tight, so your body's not moving, so you're not rocking into it, right? Keep everything tight so your body doesn't move. So 12 lateral raises, 10 front raises on each arm, and then back to your Arnold press. Good, it looks good. Some of you are already back into that Arnold press second set. Shoulders should be all pumped up now. Should be feeling those delts front and side. A little bit of rear delts, we'll get to those later. <laughs> We're halfway through. Two minutes done. Still have two minutes to light those shoulders up. Presses, then 12 more lateral raises, and then your front raises for 10 on each side. The goal is to get into the third round. Three rounds of Arnold presses, you should be able to do it. Looks good, looking strong. Remember on your lateral raises, try to control it on the way down. Control, don't just let your arms drop with gravity. Fight gravity on the way down. One more minute left, one more minute. See how far you can get. Complete two full rounds and give me that third round of Arnold presses if you can. Oh, I see that. I see that third round. Arnold Press is starting off. There you go. And lateral raises. 30 seconds now. 30 seconds. Good job, good job. Some of you might be able to finish a, a third round of lateral raises. That's good. At least complete three rounds of the Arnold Press. 15 seconds now. Still have time. Five seconds, last five, a couple more, maybe two more reps. Two, one, all right, take your break, one minute break. This is something that gets copyrighted. I don't know why. Anyways, next round, we're gonna focus on the back. So back exercises. We're gonna do bent over rows, two dumbbells at the same time. If you can, I'll show you what you can do if it puts too much pressure on your lower back. But if you can do two at the same time, what you're gonna do is push your butt back, bend over, pull the dumbbells up to your chest. Up to your chest like that, and then back down. Big squeeze at the top. Okay, if it's too much on your lower back, then just do one at a time. Just rest your forearm on your knee like this, pull up like that, a lot more rows. Either way, 12 reps. 12 reps, if you're doing one at a time, it's 12 on each arm. Then you're gonna drop right away to the ground, and you're gonna give me Superman rows. So Superman row, up and row, relax, up and row, relax. 
just five of those. Five of those, and then back on your feet for bent over flies. This time, push your butt back, bend over, and fly backward like that, okay? Just like that. You're gonna do 12 of those, and then back down for five more Superman rows, and then back up into the bent over row, okay? I'll explain as you go along. But we're gonna do, start with bent over rows, two at a time, or one at a time. Either way, 12 reps. Ready? In three, two, one, go for it. Push your hips back, push that butt out, pull up, and squeeze, up, and squeeze. If it's too much, two at a time, just give me one arm at a time. That'll take some pressure off your lower back, but you're still gonna do 12 on each arm. After your 12 rows, down on the ground for five Superman rows. The Superman row, you're pulling your knees off the ground and you're pulling your chest off the ground and you're relaxing. Pull the knees off and the chest off and pull those arms back. Five of them and then right back on your feet for bent over flies. Okay, like that, just fly. Like that, bend over position. And you're gonna do 12 of those. This one's gonna target rear delts and the upper back area. So make sure you're bent over for these, flying out. It's like the lateral raise, but in the bent over position. After you've done 12 of those bent over flies, then down for five more Superman rows. So 12 bent over flies, and then five more Superman rows. Once you're done those five Superman rows, back up into the bent over rows, the dumbbell bent over rows. Looks good, looks good. 12 more bent over rows, and then five more Superman rows. Superman rows, I threw them in there to give your lower back a little bit of a break from all this bent over work. So you go down there, work the lower back, strengthen it, and then get back up. Good job. Remember, if the double arm rows are too much, just go into single arm rows. That will relieve some strain on the lower back. We have 90 seconds left. 90 seconds. The entire back side should be feeling it now. Should be feeling pretty good. So remember, we're going for a from a weighted exercise, a bent over weighted exercise, down to the ground for five Superman rows, and then back up into another weighted exercise. Always do your Superman rows between the weighted exercises. One more minute left. If not, we're going to do it on the floor. 
We're going to do a dumbbell chest press. So on the floor, start with the dumbbells up here. Okay, and then you're going to come down, stop just before your elbows hit the ground, right? So don't let your elbows hit the ground. Line the dumbbells up with your chest so they're not back here and they're not way up here at your shoulder level. Chest level, up and down, up and down like that. You're going to do that 12 times and then we're going to do a fly, chest fly. So you're going to come out wide and then back together. Again, don't let your arms hit the ground. Okay, and then 12 push-ups. All right, so it's a chest press like this for 12, and then a chest fly where you open up like this for 12, and then 12 push-ups, regular style push-ups, any way you want to do them. All right, so chest press is first. Don't let the elbows hit the ground. Line the dumbbells up with your chest. Ready? In three, two, one. Go for it. So chest press, 12 reps. Come down just before the elbows hit the ground, and then straight up and back down. You can bring the dumbbells together at the top if you want. You don't have to, though. 12 of those, and you're going to go right into a chest fly where you come out wide, as wide as you can, really open up the chest. Again, don't let the arms touch the ground, though. Chest press 12, chest flies 12, push-ups right after for 12. Watch how hard these push-ups are going to be after this. So after your chest flies, 12 push-ups, any way you like. Already one minute done. One minute already done. Should be able to get three full rounds of this. Three times through each of them. 12 push-ups from your toes for as many as you can. And then drop to your knees when you need to, if you need to. And then right back to your chest press. A chest press for another 12. Everything again for 12. those dumbbells down just before the elbows hit the ground and then power them up and then your flies open up as wide as you can you really want to feel that stretch where the chest meets armpit area really stretch it out during those flies open up two minutes done two minutes to go after this round we only have one more round biceps and triceps
10 seconds to go. Give me a couple more reps. Whatever you're doing, give me a few more. Two. What a right, good job. One minute break. And one more round. Biceps and triceps. Two exercises. So for the triceps, we're going to start with tricep kickback. So that's going to be in a bent over position. If you don't want to do it that way, if you're struggling with your lower back, I'll show you what you can do instead. So tricep kickbacks, you're going to bend over. Start with the dumbbells here at your chest like this. And kick them back like that. Squeeze your triceps in this position. Bending at the elbows only. Only thing moving is my elbows. My shoulders aren't moving. The rest of my arms not moving. Just the elbows bending and extending. Okay? Bend, extend, and squeeze. You don't want to be bent over doing that exercise. Then you need the overhead, overhead extension like this. So you're gonna cuff the dumbbell, bend and extend, okay? So either one of those you're gonna do for 12 reps. And then the bicep static curl. One arm is gonna be at 90 degrees like this, holding it there. So you're gonna curl five times on the other arm. Five, and then hold this arm still. Curl for five. So you get to 15 on each arm, 15 on each arm of those. Right, so the tricep kickbacks, for 12 or the overhead if you want to do the overhead extension for 12 and then static curls 15 increments of five all right here we go ready in three two one go for it the tricep kickbacks bend and extend and squeeze 12 reps Remember, if you don't want to be in that bent over position, you can do the overhead. Okay, two dumbbells or one dumbbell, overhead for 12. Really squeeze those triceps when you extend your arms. 12 of those, and then the bicep curl, static curl. One arm is here, static, holding it. Then you're gonna curl five reps. Then hold this arm still at 90 degrees and curl five reps. Five reps each arm so you get to 15 on each arm total. One minute done. First minute done, three minutes to go and then we're all done. The bicep curls, you're going in increments of five until you get to 15 each side. And then right back into your tricep kickbacks. Twelve tricep kickbacks, 15 bicep curls on each arm. I'm going to unmute you now. We're halfway done this last round. Remember the kickbacks, if you don't want to be in that bent over position, just give me those overhead extensions. Use one dumbbell, or if you want heavier, use two dumbbells, stick them together. By now, your arms should be swollen, should be feeling pumped up. Fives in the tries. Be good, everyone's still going strong, still going strong. So you can give me three rounds, three sets of each of these exercises, three times through. Especially those bicep curls, those static curls, those burn. 15's a lot. One minute to go. 
Anybody feel it yet? I don't hear anybody. I thought I unmuted everyone, but unless you guys are just counting in your head, just trying to be quiet. <laughs> Last 30 seconds, getting what you can this last 30 seconds. Try to finish the third set of bicep curls. If you're close, try to finish it up. Last 15, 15 seconds and we're all done. So you should have a nice body pump going. Two, one, all right, all done, all set. 